this bill allows somebody to be fired. You don't know how hard it is to fire somebody in the federal government. Accountability. South Carolina senior senator says it's one of the goals of a proposed law designed to fix the Veterans Administration. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dean Stevens. And I'm Victoria Hansen. Senator Lindsey Graham is traveling the state today. He's talking about the upcoming changes to the VA health care system. And Charleston is included. ABC News 4's Bill Burr has more on what the plans mean for South Carolina. Bill? A Victorian teen Senator Graham tells us he was involved in developing this new legislation to fix the broken parts of the VA. He says one of the highlights of, of something, one of the highlights of it is something called a choice card. Now it's similar to a health care card like this, and it's going to enable veterans to get help from non-VA health care providers. And there's money for a new facility in Charleston. This bill shows respect to the veteran. Long overdue sign of respect. With military veterans by his side, Senator Lindsey Graham explained the contents of a new bill designed to fix ongoing problems with the Department of Veterans Affairs. This bill changes the way people are held accountable. This bill provides money for doctors and nurses that are in great shortage. This bill gives a veteran a choice. That choice, says the senator, will allow veterans to visit nearby doctors if they live far away from VA hospitals. It provides $5 billion to hire more physicians, and it gives $7 million for the opening of a new primary care and dental clinic annex in Charleston. Money will not solve the problem. It's about attitude, it's about change, and it's about leadership. It's time to quit talking about it. Still, Medal of Honor recipient Major General James Livingston and other military leaders are hopeful this new legislation will reform what they believe is a broken system. Some of these guys that served in these wars and carry the wounds of the scrap metals today cannot get a job. It just won't happen. So I'm excited. Optimism for long-awaited changes. This is a good solution on paper. Six months from now, it better become a reality. Now, the bill also provides $8 million for the consolidation of community-based outpatient clinics in Myrtle Beach. President Obama is scheduled to sign the bill into law tomorrow afternoon. Bill Burr, ABC News 4.